And all right, I'm back. We got uh, we got the wee pup Lemmy Winks right here making another appearance. Say hello, Lemmy Winks. No, doesn't know how to uh, say hello yet. But there's a good uh, little update for good old Lemmy Winks, or as um, others say, Lemon Whiskey. <laughs> But uh, there's the puppy update right there. She's doing good. She's getting, uh, hey, easy, getting big, getting big. She's already, already almost double the size she was when I got her. All right, move along. Yeah, she's doing good. All right, let's move along with the shave ridge. And we got ourselves a nice little uh, mojito here. Fucking love myself some mojitos. And I uh, figured since I'm, it's Menthol Monday, I'd get me a nice iced cold drink. And so I whipped up a mojito for myself. I even put the garnishment, a little bit of mint on top. Look at me. Uh, so that's what we're going with today. Of course, mojito, easy to make, uh, easy to make cocktail. You got your white rum, um, club soda, simple syrup, lime and mint. And then, of course, some ice and whatnot. But cheers to the uh, shave ahead. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is good shit. All right. Moving right along. We got Sterling Soap Co. Frozen Tundra. And as you can see there, it is mentholated. It's not in their glacial uh, formula. But it is mentholated nonetheless. Um, we got ingredients. Uh, beef tallow. Uh, well, this is their beef tallow base. So you can see their ingredients there. We got nice side label. Of course, sterling. You got that standard 5.8 ounces approximately. You could see where I kind of scooped some out and put it into my shave bowl. Sterling, I've done many shaves with Sterling, should be familiar with it by now. We have it all whipped up in our Lancaster Razorworks shave bowl. And it is has uh, got some water or hydration <laughs> dripping out. But we got tunnel lather right here, looking good. Um, Lancaster Razorworks shave bowl. We're now using the Lancaster Razorworks shave brush. This one I call... Um, death because death of course arrived on the pale green horse and he had a slender body with the uh classic black silhouette and then on top we got the lancaster v1 badger knot so that is some of the gear for today we're gonna go ahead and use the uh schick injector type j again today this is on loan to me from my buddy bearded and winning absolutely love this razor it's got that very slim profile it's light it's nimble and i thought i wouldn't like the um a little bit longer handle but i actually don't mind it whatsoever before we get started i'm going to use some sterling soap co mentholated pre-shave soap uh, you can see it got wet and so the box is a little bit ugly now but that's my bad of course, they didn't send it in that um, manner. And then this is the used soap. Mind any uh, any hair or whatever you might see in there. So we'll just dip the end of it in the water and then go ahead and um, apply it to the skin. And we're kind of getting some uh, against the grain action going here in order to Hopefully have the hairs pick up some soap from the bar. Not that hard to uh, accomplish that. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good Monday. This, of course, is my Monday shave. So, hope everybody had a good Monday. Mine was good. I was in... Uh, I was covering a shift at one of the uh, small offices, and so it's a one-person operation in that office, so 
it's always kind of nice to go over there and um, kind of it, it's less busy, less customers, and then on top of uh, on top of it not being a zoo like the main office is, um, it's uh, pretty simplistic. Like you just got a PO box section, and then just help customers as they come in. And so it's really kind of laid back um, at that office. It's where all the high seniority people um, bid and then retire in that position. Uh, really good job. All right. Looks like we got the pre-shave in. The uh, Sterling Mentholated pre-shave is a, a very light, low-level menthol. Just a, uh, a very entry-level cooling effect. And um, it just adds a little bit of slickness and kind of conditions the skin for the uh, upcoming shave. But mostly, it's just there to apply some menthol. It's um, it's not much in the way of like actual skin conditioning. It works as a soap, stripping oils from the uh, hairs. I assume anyways and then just adding a little bit of menthol and I really like that um, because it's like it's good for all levels of menthol lover if you're if you're uh, really intolerant to menthol it's so low that you'll probably uh, still be able to handle it and then for people who like a little bit more menthol you can use that on a regular basis without really causing any um, damage or discomfort to your skin and then if you um, are an extreme menth head like myself you can go ahead and uh, combine pre-shave with additional menthol additive with menthol um, highly mentholated soap and then a mentholated aftershave to boot and you'll have yourself one hell of a nice shave course you got to add in the cold water rinse and the whole nine yards but you know what I'm saying all right let's get right into this so this is going to be my second go with my buddy Brian's chick injector I mentioned I mentioned he let me borrow it because he wasn't getting the most enjoyable shaves with it and seeing as I absolutely love Schick injectors and I hype them up all the time and try to evangelize for the uh, usage of Schick injectors He uh, contacted me and asked if I would like to borrow this one. Just to um, just to see if I found any flaws with his particular razor that he might not be privy to. And um, just give my thoughts on the way that it shaves compared to my shit golden 500 which is also a type j and on my first go with it i had a really really nice shave very enjoyable it felt as smooth and as comfortable as my type j and so that's all I could really ask for, I'm pretty familiar with Schick injectors at this point. Obviously, I'm not a uh, dome shaver, I'm not a head shaver. And my buddy Brian at Bearded and Winning on Instagram, check him out. He, uh, he is a head shaver. And so I cannot give feedback on that experience. But... Uh, as far as like the fit and finish and the shave of this Type J, it's 
pretty much equivalent to my shit gold golden 500 I'm not getting any any bad vibes I'm not getting any irritation it's more or less right there in the same vein as um, my other one so the one that I own so it's a good sign at least I can uh, give him that feedback that hey your razor seems perfectly normal and maybe this one just is not to your liking and that's perfectly okay you know the type J might be one of my favorite razors in the whole of wet shaving that doesn't mean it has to be your favorite you know and, and most likely it won't be because we all have our own preferences all right gotta take another swig I fucking love mojitos so I'm gonna be swigging a lot often And how much rum did I put in that to uh, say a lot often? <laughs> Holy shit. All right. We got a nice, like, medium menthol going on. Let's see if uh, hopefully it increases on this second pass. You can see we got plenty of lather to go. The fragrance on this one is a nine essential oil blend. And he doesn't tell us the exact oils used, so I don't, I can't give you the exact scent notes. But what he says in there is that um, he was trying to recreate the scent and feel of uh, Earth in the winter. And so, what I definitely perceive off this soap is like some peppermint there's some sort of peppermint for sure and it might not only be peppermint it might be like peppermint excuse me it might be peppermint and spearmint because I'm getting like a little bit of this like vibrant green top note you know like peppermint is a different bright top note than spearmint which would also be a bright top note and I feel like I get them both kind of um, sharing the top of this fragrance both of them very very piercing and hard to mask but I don't feel like they are overdone in this fragrance as a matter of fact I feel like this scent is kind of broken down into thirds because there is a bit of earth, but it also, this also isn't a deep and earthy fragrance. Um, it's, it's crisp and fresh, but it has that earth element. It's definitely there, but it's just like a third of the makeup. And then we have like bright and green spearmint. And then we have like that um, kind of crisp and, uh, and invigorating peppermint. And that's about, I, I would say they're, it's almost broken down into thirds. And I'm sure there's um, a few other notes just kind of filling it out and making it, you know, more complex and more rounded. But it's, um, it's not overdone. It's actually like a perfect mix, in my opinion. And uh, I, I really enjoy this one. Going against the grain there. That was actually a pretty good swipe. Um, the menthol level did pick up just a little bit. It's right around the medium level here. And I'm having absolutely no issues in the way of performance. Sterling is tried and true. And part of my regular rotation absolutely love sterling absolutely love their prices love the quality of their products i love their massive selection and um, range of products that they offer i recently bought their coffee and i look forward to giving that a go it's just sterling is just amazing 
and um, they are to be supported, <laughs> in my opinion. Of course, you know, everybody do whatever the hell you want to do, but Sterling is a staple in this community, in my opinion, anyways, and um, I love them. $14.25 American for 5.8 ounces of shave soap. An actual steal of a deal. And they're great quality products. Amazing customer service. There are almost no negatives to speak of. The people who want a superior post shave can and probably will address that in their post shave. So, not much that I can say negative about this. Looks like right at the tippy top, I must have hit a blemish right along the beard line. Oh well, we're going to go over it again. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Because <laughs> I got a spiral right on that Adam's apple, so it's already bleeding, so there's really nothing, <laughs> nothing to lose now. But other than that one spot, looks like it ended up pretty damn good. We just hit that one blemish. And I can definitely feel a bump there in retrospect, so not a weeper, just a blemish, and we uh, we leveled that out right quick. So, great shave. I enjoyed the fragrance on it. Not what I would call sexy by any means, but it's more of a, uh, it's more of a, for casual enjoyment, it's what I would classify as a uh, candle scent. Simplistic, but pleasant. I could see somebody um, using this in the morning if you were a morning shaver and you kind of needed a, a pick-me-up before work. The menthol level isn't nothing crazy. It has a nice invigorating scent with that peppermint and spearmint that I perceive. Of course, I could be wrong, so don't take my, you know, my words to heart because they didn't provide me with the scent notes but that's just that's just what I think I'm getting out of it and um, if those aren't the exact notes well at least you have an idea of what I'm getting all right we got the Lancaster blurple blue and purple towel absolutely Love these Lancaster towels. Been using them for a while now. And uh, once you go black sheep, you never really go back, see? So. All right. Very luxurious, very soft and plush. Now, I did not pick up a matching aftershave to this, but. Uh, I have some, a nice mentholated option lined up. Doesn't really have any scent to it, except for, you know, just the natural ingredients involved. But it does have some menthol, so we'll go ahead and keep hashtag menthol Monday rolling all the way from the pre shave to the aftershave. So, Sterling Soap Co mentholated, unscented, witch hazel, and aloe. There's a look at the ingredients on the back. Fairly simple. It says shake well. So that's exactly what we'll do. Put my finger over the top cap just in case. You never know. And then this has kind of a kind of has a shit stricter if I'm being honest. It's quite a large hole but um the liquid inside isn't so runny that you can't uh, be careful and restrict it just by pouring slowly. I haven't had any problems as of yet, so I'm not going to 
Not gonna fully throw it under the bus, but make no mistake, that isn't an industry standard high quality restrictor. That definitely falls into the hashtag shit stricter realm. Alright, and one last blast of menthol chill before we wrap this one up. That feels very nice on the skin. It's nice to have a uh, witch hazel back into my regular rotation. All right, guys, that does it for me. That was a successful menthol Monday. We got a great shave, feeling great, nice and invigorated, even though it's about 7 p.m. at this point, but feeling good. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Cheers to you all. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. God damn, that's good.